Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another decluttering video. So for this segment, I'm going to be focusing on my foundations, my primers, and my setting sprays, as well as some like little face powders that I have. So if you guys are interested to see what I keep and what I get rid of, then just keep on watching. you guys so to get everything started I'm gonna do it by sections just so um, if you guys are not interested in seeing certain parts you guys can skip it so I'm gonna start off with setting sprays then primers and then foundations and powder and I'll make sure to leave the time frame in the description box down below if you guys would like to skip but just to get things started let's start off with our setting sprays and to be honest with you, I don't think I'm going to get rid of any of these. I love all of my setting sprays, and I'm a setting spray fiend. So to start things off, I have two of the Urban Decay All Nighter setting sprays. I'm going to keep these. They did come in a double pack when I purchased them from Ulta. And I love using this when I go out for like clubbing or any night out where I know I'm going to be out for a while. This really keeps my makeup in lock. So I really do love these setting sprays. Next up, I have this Smashbox Crystallized Primer Water. This was in my recent Ulta haul. Um, I'm going to keep this because I haven't even opened it yet. So this is what it looks like with the packaging. This is the Jasmine and Rose scent, and I am definitely going to keep this. I'm so excited to try this out. I love the Smashbox Primer Waters. They've been my go-to ever since they came out back in like 2015. So I will never stop repurchasing these guys. So awesome. Next up, I have this Physician's Formula, the Perfect Matcha Beauty Water. I haven't used this yet. I got this in my most recent CVS Beauty Deal haul. So I'll leave that down below for you if you guys are interested, but I'm really excited for this. And my favorite Starbucks drink right now is a soy iced matcha green tea latte. So this is definitely going to be refreshing. I cannot wait to use this. These are the new loves of my lives. Um, these are the St. Ives Face Mists, and I have four of them actually. But these first two are the orange scented one. I got these in CVS as well. Oh my gosh, these are like my new holy grails. I love this orange scent. It's the only one I've used so far is just the orange one. I'm going to keep them for sure and definitely repurchase. I also have these ones as well. These are the grapefruit scents. So I'll be using these eventually, but right now I'm just going through my orange ones. But oh my gosh, I love St. Ives, so I'm really happy they finally came out with the face mist. Next up, I have my Catrice Illuminating Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Setting Spray. I am literally at the bottom. Like, it's almost empty, so I'm going to just use it up. Um, but I will definitely be repurchasing this. This is uh, an awesome setting spray. If you like that dewy finish, you're going to absolutely love this um, setting spray. I got the recommendation from that Taylor, and I love her, and I always trust her recommendations. And this was definitely one of them. I have my Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray, which I will be keeping. I just love the dewy finished looks. And again, I just love setting sprays. This has a really nice scent to it. Makes it even feel like it's luxurious. So I will definitely be keeping this around. And here I have my Smashbox Primer Water, the original one. And I'm going to keep this. I'm almost done with it. So once I'm done with this is when I'll use the other one. Um, but I just love this Primer Water. Absolutely refreshing and hydrating. And it just makes my makeup look really nice, so can never go wrong with a good setting spray. I also have this Rimmel Stay Matte Fix and Go 2-in-1 Primer and Setting Spray. I actually haven't used this yet, so I'm going to keep it. It is brand new. Next up, I have my love of my life. This is the Anastasia Dewy Set Setting Spray, and I cannot live without this. First off, this packaging is absolutely gorgeous. This is one of my favorites. I will definitely be repurchasing this, and I'm halfway through the bottle. Um, but this is a really nice setting spray. I use this pretty much every day, and it has a really nice scent to it as well. Next up, I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer Sprays. I got the matte one and just the natural one, and I've used the natural one already. I'm not the biggest fan of the scent, but I'm just going to keep it. It is very affordable, and I can just get use out of it. Um, but I would not repurchase this again. I just do not like the scent. So I haven't tried the matte one as well. Um, this is still wrapped up in its packaging, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I will keep them, but I just I wouldn't recommend this again for myself. Um, so yeah. Next up, I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer Sprays. So I have two cucumbers, one rose, and a coconut. 
and I'm gonna definitely be keeping these I'm obsessed with the rose and the cucumber the coconut is all right um but I will definitely be repurchasing the cucumber and the rose they are absolutely awesome and I just love the packaging so cute and this is another brand new item to my collection this is the elf dewy setting mist i haven't tried it yet but i've heard a lot of good reviews and last but not least we have our little urban decay all-nighter setting spray and this is pretty much at the finish line so i'm just going to toss this but again i do love the all-nighter setting sprays if you made it this far we are now on to our primers so i have a lot of primers i'm not gonna lie so this might be a bit, so grab some popcorn, grab a drink, and let's get to it. So I'm not going to go in any order at all. I'm just going to be picking through this ginormous mess that I got going on. So, you know, I'm going to start with this little container right here. So the first thing I see is this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Serum. This is a rose scented serum. I did get this at CVS. This is fairly new to my collection. I've used it a few times, so I want to keep it just to play around with it some more. I do love the scent of roses, so very nice and very affordable, so I will be keeping this baby. I have this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I haven't used this yet. This is fairly new as well. I got this in my most recent Ulta haul, and I've heard a lot of good reviews about it being very similar to the Tatcha um, Putty Primer, so I'm going to keep this and see how I feel about it. I have this CoverGirl True Blend Base Business Everyday Defense Skin Primer plus Sunscreen SPF 20. I'm going to keep this. My gosh, this is so old. I am probably going to toss this out. This is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. I got this a few years back um, through Influencer to test out. And I really did like it, but I can just see through the packaging. It just looks really old and disgusting. Yeah, it's coming off like very like creamy and like, ew, it doesn't feel good. It's like, ew, how do I explain this texture? It just looks like cottage cheese, all crumbly looking and it's nip. So this is going to be tossed goodbye. I have this e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer and I'm going to be getting rid of this as well. This is so old. It's just been in my collection for years. I don't think there's any life left in this anyway, so this is going to go bye-bye. Oh my gosh, this is something I cannot wait to throw away. Um, this is the Alme Smart Shade Primer. I thought it would be very similar to the Stila Primer that I have, but oh my god, I tried it one time during a first impressions video and this thing smells so terrible. It smells like a butt crack, like it's not... It's not pleasing or appetizing at all, and I don't know. I had high hopes for it, but Jesus Christ. And then I looked up reviews online, and everyone was saying the same thing. This is rated a one star, so this is definitely going in the trash. I do not want to pass this on to anybody at all. Um, they don't deserve to feel this smell. Like It literally lingered on my face the whole day. This is going in the trash, and I definitely would not recommend this to anybody. Um, for the price that it was worth, it is definitely not worth it. Next up, I have this Hard Candy Sheer Glow Blushing Babe Soft Glow Illuminator. I've had this for so many years. It's still pretty full, um, but I really did like it. It has a nice little pink tint to it, which I'll show you. So this is what that looks like, and just rub it around. I like to put this like underneath my foundation. And you can also use it all over your body too. But it does give a really nice glow, but I just think it's pretty expired. I've had it for probably almost four years now. So it's time to let it go, um, but I really did love it. Next up, I have this Joa Glow Activator Radiance Primer. I've only used this one time and I wasn't the biggest fan of it. It made my face feel very oily and it does have little specks of glitter in there. I don't know if it's showing up on the camera, but I'm just going to pass this along to a friend. This is fairly new. I did get this probably like a month ago or so, um, but it just didn't work out for me. I have this Physician's Formula Organic Wear Bright Booster Oil Elixir. I haven't used this yet, so I'm going to keep this. I've never heard anyone talk about these, um, so if you have, please let me know down below what you thought of it. But yeah, I'm really excited to try this out. I have a few little minis. I have the Maybelline Master Prime Primer, and I also have the Too Faced Hangover RX, and I'm going to keep these two. I love these primers, and I like how they're travel size. So these were like free gifts with purchases, so I just like to keep this on the go just in case whenever I travel. It's always nice to have, but these are really good primers. I also have this Revlon Rose Glow Hydrating Illuminating Primer. I'm going to keep this. I really do like this, actually. It's a little dropper. I'll show you guys. So that's what it looks like. 
It's a nice dropper and I just liked how it feels on my face. It does have a nice slight rose scent as well, which I'm in love with. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep this around. Moving on to this ginormous box, like deep down, filled to the brim. Let's get going. First thing I see is another Maybelline Master Prime Primer. This is a hydrating primer. I'm going to keep this. I love my hydrating products. I do have dry skin. So anything hydrating or illuminating, I'm definitely going to keep. And this is an all-time favorite of mine. Very similar to the Smashbox primers too, so... If you're on a more affordable route, I would definitely recommend this. I also have the Master Prime Blur and Smooth from Maybelline. I'm going to keep this as well. I just love the Maybelline primers. They're just awesome. I have my Physician Formula Skin Booster Vitamin Shots. I'm going to keep these. I rave about them all the time on my channel. I have this orange one, which is more for brightening. This blue one, which is for hydrating. And this purple one, which is just to help firm up your skin it's the time restoring serum and i just like wearing serums every day before my makeup so i put a serum on and then my primer so these are an essential to my collection which i'll be keeping and i'm almost done with them which makes me very sad Ugh. but i love these and definitely recommend them oh my gosh i don't know why i guess this is leaking but this is the nyx hydra touch oil primer i got this a while back i'm probably gonna let go of this because I don't know why but it's just leaking everywhere this is supposed to be uh, very similar to the Smashbox um, oil primer that they have as well um, it's supposed to be a dupe and I really did like this but I'm just gonna let it go because I think the packaging is defaulted and it's leaking everywhere but I would definitely repurchase this again I have this Amuse Color Correcting Face Primer Radiant Glow I got this off of what was it called I believe it was Shop Miss A. This was part of my dollar makeup look that I did a couple months back, and I really do enjoy this primer. It was only a dollar, and I just like the feeling of this primer. It's like a nice purple jelly-like primer, and it just melts into the skin very nicely. It keeps it hydrated, so I definitely want to keep this around. I think it's really good for a dollar. I have my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion. This one is in the shade Fair Glow. And I, I'm going to keep this. I love using this as an illuminator for my makeup. Um, so I would put like my primer and then I would put this on top and then my foundation or even vice versa. Sometimes I would just use this alone as my primer and it makes my skin look very nice and glowy, which is what I like. Again, I have another illuminator. This is the Milani Soft Focus Glow in the shade Nude Glow. And I'm going to keep this one too. And again, I do the same thing that I do with my L'Oreal one. Um, it just leaves my skin looking very nice. And the thing I like about this is it comes with a pump. I have this Milani Prep and Soothe Camellia Face Oil. I'm going to keep this. This is pretty new to my collection. Um, so far, I've only used it once, and I'm not too sure how I feel about it. It is a very oily texture, but it's supposed to be good for your face. So I'm going to keep playing around with it. Oh my gosh, I can tell this is very, very old. This is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I got this years ago when it was so popular. Um, that was probably like 2012. So I'm going to let this go. I'm going to trash it. Um, it was a good primer for the price. Just like a silicone primer. It's supposed to help pore fill. I did see it pore filling. Oh, you can see how old it is. Like it's not, ugh. Yeah. I have this L'Oreal Paris Infallible Glow Lock Illuminating Primer. I'm going to keep this. Again, I do love my illuminating primers, and this is pretty new to my collection. Um, this is not my favorite primer, but, you know, it gets the job done, and I just want to use it up and get the bang for my buck, so it's going to stay in my collection for a little bit longer. I'm going to be getting rid of this. This is the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator in Gleam. Um, I do like it. It's just it's way too old, so I'm going to let it go. But this was a really nice illuminator um, for the summertime. I really liked it. You could also use it as a highlighter um, on your cheekbones, um, just like a liquid highlight. So I really did enjoy this, but it's time to go. Oh, I love this primer. This is the Physician's Formula Spotlight Illuminating Primer. Obsessed with this. I'm almost done with it, and I'm definitely going to repurchase it. It's supposed to be very similar to, I believe, the Becca primer, which is a natural. This is supposed to be a dupe for it, so... I really did like it. So this is what it looks like and just oh, gives off a nice glow. 
Like I would wear this alone. I wouldn't even wear foundation. I would just wear this and it looks awesome on the skin. Nice and hydrating as well too. Absolutely recommend this product and I'm definitely gonna be repurchasing this again. So I'm gonna be keeping these. These are the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Water Drop Primers. I got it in Cucumber and Rose. So excited to try these. So I love the setting sprays. As you can see, I have the Cucumber Setting Spray and the Rose Setting Spray. So I'm really excited that they came out with primers, like legit primers. So I'll let you guys know how I feel about it, but I'm definitely gonna be keeping these. I cannot wait to try these out. Next up, I have my Essence Fresh Fit Awake Primer. This is the Healthy Glow Pore Minimizing Effect obsessed and this is so affordable I love using this um like pretty much every day if I can I'm almost done with it as well as you can see but oh, it gives like the most beautiful glow so here's what it looks like and just watch how I rub it into my skin Ugh. it gives like the most prettiest glow natural glow hopefully it's showing but it's really nice next up I have my NYX honey do me up like primer I guess I'm gonna let this go this is old as well but I do love my NYX products and I really did enjoy this um, but it's just too old and I don't want to put it on my skin anymore but it was a pretty good pretty good primer next up I have this AOA studio wonder skin mattifying primer I got this during my dollar makeup haul to shop miss a and I'm just gonna pass this along to a friend I'm not the biggest fan of mattifying primers and I honestly never even used it Oh, I love this primer too. This is the First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. Love it. It's a nice illuminating primer as well. It does smell like coconuts and I'm going to keep this. I definitely recommend this product. Obsessed. Looks like I have another Maybelline Hydrating Primer, which I'll be keeping. This is brand new. I do have a few as you guys can see. So I'm not opening this one up yet, but I love this. I have my Stila One Step Correct Skin Tone Correcting and Brightening Primer. This is the one I was talking about that I thought would be similar to Alme, um, but no. I'm going to keep this though. I love this primer. Um, Shan XO used to recommend this all the time, so I got it from her. I also have a Mini Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Obsessed with this. Um, this literally locks in your makeup. It feels like you're putting like glue on your face, but it does the job. So I'm going to keep this as well. I also have my Too Faced Hangover Primer. This is the full size one and I'm going to keep it. I love this. It's very nice and hydrating and it has a nice scent to it as well. It's just a staple in my collection. I have this Lorac Perfection Mattifying Face Primer. I'm going to get rid of this as well. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of mattifying primers. I do have dry skin and this is more of like that silicone texture, which is what I don't like. So I'm just going to pass this along to a friend. So the last two primers I have is another um, First Aid Beauty Coconut Water Primer, another travel size, and I'm going to keep this for on the go. And I also have this Glam Glow Glow Starter Illuminating Moisturizer, and I'm obsessed with this. I got this in a Sephora like freebie, like a deluxe sample freebie, and I'm going to purchase the full size once I run out of this, but this is an absolutely beautiful primer. So here's the primer, and oh, that's what it looks like. It's very nice and dewy, and it smells like Skittles, so I really like that feels really nice on the skin. We finally made it to the end of the box, so let's move on to foundation. So I have so many foundations, I have to put it in this big like Ulta box. So we're gonna start off with these little guys right over here first, and then I'm just gonna make my way through because there's just so much. So we're just gonna go through, and then I'm just gonna refill these guys up as I go so I don't have to keep getting that box down there. So the first thing I see is my Joa Truly Yours Natural Finish Foundation Drop. I love this foundation. It's one of my go-tos. The only thing I hate is the shade selection. There isn't that many at all. I purchased mine at CVS, but it just gives the most beautiful coverage. Very full coverage, to say the least, in my opinion. And it just goes on so nice and smooth, so I'm definitely going to keep this. I love it. Gosh, this is so dingy looking. This is my NARS all day luminous weightless foundation in the shade Duville and I don't even know oh yeah that's way old I've had this for so long yeah I think I'm gonna throw this away it's just so old but I do love my NARS foundation 
I will definitely be repurchasing this. Um, I like the packaging. It's nice and heavy. It's just so old. Uh, it's going to be so sad to let go, but it, it has to go. <laughs> Next up, I have this LA Girl Pro Matte HD High Definition Longwear Matte Foundation in the shade Bisque. I'm going to pass this along. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan. It was. It's very, very matte, to say the least. And I feel like it oxidized on my skin, so I'm just going to see if one of my friends wants this. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to pass this on. I also have my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the shade Natural Buff. I'm going to pass this along as well. I do have the Pro Glow, which I prefer over this, so this is going to go too. This is my Marc Jacobs foundation in the shade Bisque Medium. This is the Genius Gel. Oh, I love this foundation, but I think it's pretty much done. I'm not sure um, if it's even pouring out at all. This is completely out, so oh my gosh, I love this foundation. Uh, I haven't seen it in such a long time because it's just been in my drawer forever. But this was an awesome foundation. Very nice coverage from what I can remember. But this is just trash now. Ah, so sad to see it go. I have my Maybelline Dream BB Fresh BB Cream. This one is in light medium. Obsessed with this. Um, this is one of my go-to BB creams for on the go. If I don't want to wear any makeup, I just wear this. And it gives me like really nice sheer light coverage. But it like looks like your skin. So I definitely recommend this. Um, again, I just don't like how the shade range is very small. You only get three shades to choose from, but I love this BB cream. Moving on, I have my All May Skin Perfecting Comfort Matte Foundation. I literally just purchased this, and I'm going to keep it. I haven't tried any All May foundations, so we'll see how it goes. And I got this in the shade Neutral Beige. It should be a good skin tone match for me since I am a little bit darker for the summer. So I can't wait to try this out. And I have some more BB creams from Maybelline. This one is in medium just because I am a little bit darker now. So I'm going to be using this pretty much every day or when I'm at work. But again, I do love these BB creams. I have this Lorac Natural Performance Foundation. This one is in the shade NP2. And I'm going to let this go and pass it on to a friend. I just don't really reach for it as much. But I really do like the packaging. It's like that twisty up, you know. But I'm just going to pass this on. I have my e.l.f. Um, Flawless Finish Foundation. This one is in the shade Vanilla, and I'm going to keep this. I really do enjoy it. This is new to my collection. Um, again, the shade range isn't the greatest, but I really do like the coverage on this. It's like a nice medium coverage foundation. I still need to use this. This is the new NYX Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation in the shade Vanilla. So excited because it says Naturally Radiant, so I'll be putting this in an upcoming video but I'm gonna keep this because it is very new to my collection. So I have two of my Makeup Revolution stick foundations in the shades F4 and F5, and I'm gonna keep these. I'm almost done with them. Um, this is in the shade F5. This is currently the shade that I'm in that matches me nicely. I do enjoy these sticks, um, but I'm just not a big fan of stick foundations, so I'm just using it up as I can. I'm gonna be letting this go. This is the True Match uh, Lumi Foundation from L'Oreal. This is just really old, as you can see, and yeah, it's just it just needs to go. It's expired. I have my Maybelline Bronze BB Cream. I don't even know if they sell this anymore because I don't see it online anymore, but I love this stuff, especially like if I'm light, I like to throw this on to the foundation and mix it together, and it gives me a nice glow, but I'm almost at the finish line with this, so I'm just going to use it up till it's gone. Next up, I have my Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation. This one is in the shade LN3. And I'm going to keep this. I am enjoying it. It kind of reminds me of the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. I really do like the packaging, how heavy it is, and the applicator is like that big doe foot applicator. I'm going to be passing this, or I'm going to be throwing this away. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I really did like it. This is in the shade 115, but as you can see, it's just so old and gross looking. I put the remaining foundations in these three little boxes. We are almost done. Um, kudos to you if you're still watching. But the next thing I have is my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This one is in the shade Nude Ivory. So I'm gonna keep this. This is gonna be more of my lighter shade for like the winter, fall time. And I really do love the coverage of Wet n Wild foundation. As you guys can kind of see, a lot of my foundations are all drugstore because I love drugstore. And another one that's a really good one is this CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir foundation. 
This one is in the shade Creamy Natural. I love the coverage of this foundation. I just hate the scent of it, but you know, it does the job and so I'll suck it up and deal with the scent, but it gives a really nice medium to full coverage. I have this Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation in the shade Light Natural Double Zero. I am so glad they came out with this. Um, I have another one I think somewhere in here um, in a darker shade, but this is like the perfect shade for me when I'm like super, super pale. So I really do like this. Um, it is very full coverage, so this is something I would wear if I'm going out clubbing. Um, it stays on all night, but I wouldn't wear it for like an everyday foundation. It is super, super full coverage like I said. Um, but yeah, it's a really good foundation. This is so old. This is my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer in the shade... What shade is this on? Cameo. This is so old. I got this probably like six years ago. This was like one of my first major purchases. And I got the shade wrong. Like super wrong. This is so pinky toned. I'll show you. I just wanted to keep it because, you know, oh, it was my, burst, my first ever like luxurious spend at Sephora but it is just way too light and way too pinky toned I don't know if it's showing but yeah it was just way too pale like it doesn't work yeah it doesn't look good but it has like a nice radiant tint to it um oh yeah and I could tell it's old because of the way it smells ew I have this Revlon photo ready candid foundation in the shade vanilla and I'm gonna keep this. This is fairly new to the Revlon line and it's a beautiful coverage. I would say it's more on like the side of medium to full and I just love how it looks and it does come in many shades. Um, I The first time I ever got this actually was in the wrong shade with one of my videos where my best friend chooses my makeup and he chose this foundation in a way wrong shade but I love the finish of it so I decided to get one in my shade and I'm very happy I did. I have this Wet n Wild Photo Focus um, Stick Foundation, and I'm going to keep this. Um, it is fairly new to my collection. I've only used it once, and I really did like it. So this is probably one of the few stick foundations I like. I'm going to be letting this go. This is so old. This is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation. I don't even know what shade it is because it doesn't have the label on it anymore. And you can just see by the packaging how loved it was. Um, just can't remember if I liked it or not. So I'm just gonna throw this away. This is one of my favorite foundations. This is the Josie Marin Vibrancy Argan Oil Fluid Foundation in the shade RG30 Mystical. And I absolutely love this foundation. I remember Jaclyn Hill recommended this back in the day. So that's where I got it from. Um, it's a very nice radiant foundation, very full coverage as well. And it just works really well with dry skin, especially with eczema. It doesn't cling on to any of my dry patches. So definitely recommend this foundation if you guys are ever interested in going into Sephora. Really good. I have my Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse Airbrush Finish Foundation in the shade Classic Ivory. Um, I'm going to keep this actually. I really did enjoy it. It is almost finished as well. Half of the, uh, the foundation is on the other side. I don't know if it shows. But I really do like Maybelline foundation, so this is sticking around. I'm going to be throwing this away. This is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation. You can see how old it is, and it's obviously way dried out at this point. Very nice packaging, but that's what that looks like, and it just needs to go. It's really old. I can't imagine looking under a microscope into this, like, sponge. Ew. But I did enjoy it for, like, every day, but I'm probably not going to repurchase it. Gosh, all my foundations are oily because of that one primer that like exploded, so I apologize. This is the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD um, foundation in the shade Porcelain, and I'm going to keep this. I love this. It's a very, very full coverage as well. I would say it's kind of similar to the Milani, but not as thick. Um, I do like wearing this to the clubs or whatever, like night occasions. Um, it is a very yellow toned base on me, but it works once I blend everything out and I just love the finish that it gives. I also have my Huda Beauty foundation. This one is in the shade Custard and I'm gonna keep this. Very nice full coverage foundation. It is, um, this one is also very yellow toned on me as well, but once it's all blended with everything else, it looks flawless. Um, just first application, it kind of looks scary, so maybe I got the wrong shade, not too sure, but I really do like this foundation. I have another one of my Milani Conceal and Perfect. This one is in 02 Natural. I'm going to keep this one too. I just like to have a little backup in a darker shade just in case for the summer 
which is now, and I'm very nice and tan, so I'm gonna keep this around. I also have my Bare Minerals Bare Pro um, Liquid Foundation. I love this. Very nice natural finish foundation. It is, I would say, medium coverage. Can be buildable, um, but the shade range is awesome. And I got this um, from actually, I got this from Influencer. So they sent this out to me to try out, and I've been in love with it ever since. So this is definitely a repurchase. I have another one of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundations. This one is in soft beige. So I got a darker shade just in case as well. So I'm gonna be keeping this too. I have this Physicians Formula Argan Wear BB Cream in light medium. I haven't used it yet. I'm interested in trying out another BB cream and this was on my list. I did get this from CVS. I do a lot of couponing from CVS as you guys know and a lot of the products I like to get are like Physicians Formula. So that's why I have a lot of them and Wet n Wild too. But yeah, I'm gonna keep this. This I'm going to be throwing away. This is very, very old. This is the NYC uh, BB Cream. I don't even know how old this is, but I'm just going to throw this away. Can't imagine what it smells like. I do not want to open it. Um, yeah, this is bye-bye. I also have an Anastasia Stick Foundation in the shade Warm Porcelain, and I barely ever use this. Let's see how much is in there. Yeah, barely ever use this. I'm probably just going to pass this on to a friend. I'm just not the biggest fan of stick foundations, so I think someone else can benefit more from this. Oh look, I have another BB cream. This is another one of the Maybelline BB creams, and I'm going to be keeping this. And I have this little mini Makeup Forever um, HD Blurring Skin Tint in the shade 06. And I'm keeping this. Um, I think I'm going to purchase the full size. I got this, I believe, in one of my Sephora play boxes, and I just like it. Like, it's a very nice natural skin finish. So it's a really good little foundation. Last one in the big box is one of my new favorites. This is the Joa Truly Yours BB Radiant Beauty Balm. And this is awesome. I, I just ugh, I just hate the, the shade ranges. Like they need to do better. But this is in light medium and I got this from CVS and I really, really love this BB cream. It looks very nice on the skin. Um, it does have a powdery scent like baby powder. So that's the only downside. I'm not the biggest fan of the scent, but the coverage on this is very light, um, but for me, it like looks really nice. It looks like skin, so I absolutely love this BB cream. As we're almost finished, we're down to the last little box here. Um, so I have my CoverGirl Outlast Active 24-Hour Foundation in the shade Classic Ivory, and I'm gonna keep this. I've fallen in love with this. This is one of my go-to summer foundations. I have my Too Faced Do You Fresh Glow Foundation in the shade Porcelain. Not the biggest fan of this foundation, but I did spend a pretty penny on this. So I'm going to keep it till it's done, but I wouldn't repurchase it. Um, also, it does have a strong scent to it as well. Very fruity, which I don't mind, but some people don't. Um, but yeah, it wasn't my favorite. It tends to like separate a lot around my nose, which is not my favorite, especially when I wear glasses. So that's the downer. Next up, I have this Joa Angel Food Cushion Foundation in the shade Natural Ivory. It's only had a few shades as well, so it's not the greatest. Um, I haven't tried it yet, so I'm going to keep this around. I got this at CVS as well, and it's been a while since I've used a cushion foundation, so I'm excited. I have my NARS um, Sheer Glow Foundation in the shade Gobi. This is lighter than what I am right now, but I'm going to keep it. It is fairly new to my collection, and it's very luxurious. And I think I paid like 50 bucks for it, so I'm definitely not going to let it go, so it's going to stick around for a little bit. I have my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. This one is in the shade Linen, and this is a perfect shade match for me when I'm like lighter skinned, um, but it's absolutely beautiful. I love the finish, and it's, it reminds me a lot of my Physician's Formula Healthy Skin Foundation that I showed you. So here's what that looks like. So yeah, I'm going to keep this as well. I have my Tarte Face Tape Foundation in the shade Fairlight Neutral. I've only used this a few times. I'm not too sure how I feel about it, so I'm going to keep it around. If I don't like it, I'm probably just going to pass it on to one of my friends who's obsessed with this foundation. I have my L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation in the shade Creamy Natural, and I'm obsessed with this. It's a very nice dewy foundation, and I just like the radiance it gives me. It really works well with uh, dry skin, so prefer this over the matte one any day. I'm going to throw this away. This is the Rimmel BB Cream Matte One in light medium, and this is very old. 
Um, I used to be obsessed with this back in high school, like my freshman year of high school, and so I'd always just wear Rimmel all the time. I have my Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation, and I love this. This one is in the shade of Vanilla. Um, it is more on the darker tones. It's very not vanilla at all, but it matches me now um, with my skin tone that I got going. So I've been loving this very much, so I'm going to be keeping this around as well. Last but not least, we have my It Cosmetics um, CC Illuminating Cream in the shade Fair. And I'm actually going to pass this along to somebody else. I was not the biggest fan of this at all. Um, so that's why it's been in my drawer for almost finished last but not least we just have my little face powders and I really don't have that many so this is gonna be super quick so I have my holy grail Laura Mercier translucent setting powder I'm gonna keep this I love using this for baking especially on the days I want to go full glam so this is sticking around I have my Rimmel stay matte powder in the shade sandstorm this has been an OG cult favorite for me for years. I can never get enough of this powder. It just makes my makeup look super nice. Um, it doesn't really mat it does mattify it, but I do have my setting sprays to help it out. But it really helps my makeup stay on a long time. I also have the Rimmel Stay Matte Loose Powder, which I've been loving as well. So I'll be keeping this too. I have my Bare Minerals. Um, let's see eye brightener in well rested um, Shan XO recommended this and I'm obsessed with it so I'm gonna keep it anything from Shan XO I'm like yes I need it this I will be getting rid of though this is the NYX HD finishing powder in translucent pretty much empty and like hit pan so this is just garbage but I really did like this powder nice and finely milled and it really made my makeup look nice and smooth I have my Maybelline fit me um, powder in the shade porcelain I am just gonna throw this away. It's way too light. Um, it I don't know. I don't even know why I got such a light shade. But yeah, it's a good powder, but it was just way too light. I'm definitely gonna keep my Airspun Cody powder. This is just never gonna leave my side. This is pretty much my only face powder that I have. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro um, face powder in the shade Aspen. And I'm just using it up till it's done. I need some new recommendations for a powder because I am in need of one. But yeah, this is an okay powder. Not my favorite, but I am just using it. Alright you guys, so that is the end of my video. So this stuff right here is everything I'm going to be throwing away just because it is super old and dingy. So I did get rid of quite a few things. Not a lot though. And right over here is just the items that I'm going to be passing on to some friends. Just a few primers and a few foundations. So that was my decluttering video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.